pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing while we make mention of remembrances of folks that have passed in the last few weeks. Charlotte Wright. Dale McDowell Craft. Barbara Joan Billiou. Roll call, Mr. Briggs. Present. Mr. Toledo. Here. Roger. Here. Cassie. Here. We have the full board tonight. Fire exits are directly behind me. Don't use the elevator in case of a, an emergency. <coughs> Correspondence we have now. Petitioners, this would be the time that people could come in the audience to uh, the podium or on Zoom and state your concerns. Anybody on? Nobody's concerned. No, no, With none, we'll continue the meeting. Mr. Kyer, no concerns? No, none that we haven't already addressed. Okay, so I have a resolution. The town board by resolution authorizes the acceptance of the bids for construction of a Warsing Water District local road distribution mains, contract number two, WWD bid 09, and authorizes the supervisor to execute the agreement with Rutledge Excavating in the amount of $1,180,000. I'll move it. I'll second it. Cassie makes that motion. TJ seconds. This is a roll call vote. TJ? Aye. Paul? Aye. Roger? Aye. Cassie? Aye. I aye, vote aye. Do you want to make any comment on it? Well, it's exciting. It's our second uh, lateral uh, connection off the main. And we'll, the, uh, we open bids for the, um, the third one, the third lateral bid, and that will be awarded soon, probably at our next meeting. Um, and so we, we are moving forward um, and look for the end of, I believe that Chasen said the end of January, they will be letting out uh, house connections. Okay. Hmm? All in favor? We did that. We, we did that. that. <laughs> that motion is carried five is it? No budget mods. No budget mods. Town board approved the bills as audited. Had three signatures tonight. I'll move it. Second. TJ makes a motion. Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion's carried. Town board to approve the assessor report, the building department report, the justice report, highway department, town clerk, youth commission, dog control, and supervisors reports. I'll make that it. is number three I'll, I'll move three through, through ten. ten. I'll move three. Ten. I'll second it. DJ makes a motion for three through ten. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motions are carried. Town board to approve payment application number three in the amount of three hundred and thirty-six thousand one hundred and twenty-seven dollars and ninety-eight cents to TAM Enterprises Inc. for the Warsing Water District Water Treatment Facility and Wellfield General Construction. I'll move it. As he makes a motion, Roger seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. Town board to approve payment number one, application number one in the amount of $11,571 to T. McElligott, Inc. for the Worsing Water District tr Water Treatment Facility and Wellfield General Constru Mechanical Construction. I'll move it. I'll second it. As he makes a motion, TJ seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion is carried. Town Board to accept bids received on Thursday, December 2nd, 2021 at noon in the Town Clerk's Office for road materials for the Town of Worsing Highway Department from the following contractors, 209 materials, Woodburn. Seconded. Seconded. <coughs> TJ makes a motion, Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. Town Board to award the bid for road materials for the Town of Worsing Highway Department for 209 materials for the following items. I'll move it as written. Second. TJ makes a motion. Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That motion is carried. And that's just the sand and the bank run gravel at six ninety nine a ton and six fifty. Uh, there's no, no, no other motions. Correct. Nope. 
Okay, so at this time, Mr. Page, um, have this seat. Close it tomorrow, or so it should be, should be completed. That's quite a big, tall building, too, by the way. Yes, the building's a tent. Take a ride, yeah, take Canada. a ride by and take a look at it. Yeah. You could put a house inside that thing. I got a question for Terry. Did you talk to the board members? I know Cassie was involved. About we started talking about that in the workshop. He just gave that to me this morning. Uh, it's I think we should have a meeting of some kind and see what we're going to do. This is about the Barber Road Bridge. We've had two previous yellow flags on the bridge, and we just got a third one. This has been going on. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thrown the idea to the first one. Well, red is out. Yeah. So we did talk to the county. Uh, on this, and there is very little Bridge New York uh, opportunities, and also Dennis Doyle is the director of planning, and he's the go-to person for that project, or for that type of grant, and he also made it very clear, and correct me if I'm wrong, he said, I think you should just go out for uh, RFPs, it doesn't cost anything to go out for RFPs to get a cost on what uh, you know the condition of the bridges and how to repair the bridge either repair it or replace it right replace it. but he said we also should talk to our senators somebody from albany and see if they can give us some help he did say that so we'll do that and then today's uh thursday so tomorrow <coughs> we'll reach out to some people and then we have a meeting on tuesday so if we have anything constructed by that time we'll cool. revisit that okay but again, it's a yellow flag. It's not a red flag, but it's uh, it's a third one. It's got a position at a time right now where it's just a matter of time. Yeah. It needs to be addressed. Whatever goes out, it'll be one heck of a mess. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got three ones over there, so. <laughs> well, in that case, we definitely should fix it Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I'm good. All right, thank you, Mr. Briggs. Uh, just a couple of things. I uh, wish everybody happy holidays. Uh, it's that time of year. Let's. Enjoy the holidays, but not so much that uh, we cause accidents. So if you're going to go out and enjoy a little too much, make sure somebody else can drive for you or, or take a cab or whatever the case may be. Uh, we've got a great bunch of EMS and fire volunteers in our community, uh, but we're not the people you want to see at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, so let's just be careful out there. Um, and on a personal note, uh, well, no, let's, I want to say something else here. Uh, the chamber, the, the lighted fire truck parade was on the money, and um, I think it gets better every year. Uh, the people really like it. Uh, I think it's getting to be as big as the 4th of July parade. I mean, there were there were a lot of people out there. I think Trish, Chief Patricia said there were more people than at the 4th yeah, of July. Yeah, and it, there, was a, there were a lot of people out there. So, you know, the chamber uh, does, does really good job, and I know, um, um, you know, the town assists, the village assists, and... Uh, but it's really a time for firemen and, and uh, some EMS uh, come out to really showcase what they do, and, and the firemen get, really get a kick out of it. Uh, had exceptional weather this year, so you know I, I just want to commend the uh, the chamber. I think they uh, they really do. Uh, I, I know people have said to me in the past they'd like to see the chamber do more, uh, but I, I think the chamber does a lot of this type of stuff. And uh, concerning what they have to deal with and the, the money that they have, I, I really think they, uh, they do a great job at, at bringing people into the community. And then it's up to the community to, you know, showcase itself such that, you know, people want to come back. Um, really, lastly, this is really our last Thursday night meeting. Um, on a personal note, I want to say thank you to uh, not only to this board uh, and to some of the members that, you know, Dan Johnson was here originally, I was here and Steve Bradley uh, like that, but I wanna thank you for, for support and listening to my rants and raves at times. Um, but it's, you know, it's been an honor uh, to be not only voted in, but trusted by the people to, uh, to serve. Uh, I'm excited about my, my move over to the village, and I promise you that in that move, um, uh, I will do my best to, to uh, work, have the village work a lot closer with the town and vice versa. Um, but you know, this is, um, you know, I think we have a lot of good, good stuff going on in our community and a lot of things to be proud of. And if you, if you go back to the first page with remembrances, 
you know, you have Mrs. Kraft and you have Mrs. Bilyeu, and I know I know Mrs. Bilyeu from my early years in the first state squad at the hospital, and Mrs. Kraft. And if you look at the, when we do these remembrances, uh, A, nobody at this table is getting any younger. Um, but look at this table or look at the village. Um, young folks, they need to step up. Yep. And uh, not only, I mean, I don't think there's a firehouse that doesn't say members, <laughs> volunteers needed, or, or any civic organization. And there are many people that come on and, and tell us how easy it is to do our jobs, but there's not a single person willing to, to put our shoes on and do our jobs. So, uh, you know, it's a loss when we lose folks like this. Um, but I, I think the real loss is, you know, as proud as I am, I think of my four years here, um, that feeling of pride when you serve a community and when you do the right thing and the way that comes back uh, to you and, and when you see things that occurred because you were part of that, um, there's no better feeling in the world than to know that you made a difference and a positive difference and that you affected people's lives. So I want to thank everybody for, uh, for helping me do that over four years. And um, I'll leave you with this. The new members ask questions. Always ask questions. Uh, but I know Michael and, and Bill will do a great job uh, replacing myself and Roger. And um, I'm excited about my new, my new position. Uh, but thank you all very much for, for being here and, and doing what you do. I appreciate it. Thank you, Pete. Um, Roger. Okay. Well, well, TJ always gets to say all the good stuff and just leaves me the room. <laughs> in. So I just say ditto to everything he says. But it, it truly has you been say a pleasure. I know. Uh, it, maybe, it truly has been a pleasure and honor working with you guys. Uh, you know, I know sometimes people complain, well, your meeting's only 20 minutes, but they don't see. By the time we get to this level, we've discussed, we've talked, we've argued. But at the end of the day, we always, for the most part, come to an agreement that is civil we're, and we were always civil to each other um it just you know I, i'm glad i was here four years unfortunately not won't have four more my political life is probably over um i do wish bill and mike good luck in the next four years i wish this board good luck in the next four years you have a lot of things coming up a lot of important decisions have to be made and will be made and uh Part of me is saying, oh, I'm, glad I'm not going to be here. Because, <laughs> wow, there's some big stuff happening. But and honestly, I, I will miss it. Uh, most of me will miss it. Some of me won't, but most of me will. And uh, happy holidays to everyone in the audience, here at the table, in the audience. And uh, I just wish everybody good luck. It should be a good new year. And hopefully this board just keeps moving forward with all the projects and everything that's happening, moving forward positively. That's all I have. Thank you, Roger. Been good working with you and with you, Pete. Thank you. So, this is Cassie's time, but I think collectively we're going to sit here and say that Mark Blower mm -hmm. is the man. Mean, but you skip Paul. You don't want Paul to have time. Oh my God, I, I stepped ahead of myself. <laughs> Paul, you want me to talk? Are you talking about mini sandwich or something? No, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, this is, this is I'm, half an hour of the work. Yeah, that's uh, true. I'm cle com completing my second year on the board right now, and uh, it's been really a pleasure, uh, Roger and, and TJ, to work with you guys. Uh, as you both said, you know, we don't always necessarily agree on things, but uh, this board has been, you know, really a, a team that's uh, got the best interests of our residents and citizens of the town in mind, and look forward to the, the two new guys coming on the board in a couple of weeks. There's... Uh, a lot of exciting things going on, guys, and a lot of work. So get ready to roll your sleeves up and uh, and join us because there's a there's a lot more good things I think we can do for the town, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> there is one thing, and uh, you know, as far as the recording of the meeting goes, it'll be over with. But there's one thing that's always been uh, past few years really important to me is is uh, blood drives. Uh, fortunately, as a as a family, we haven't needed it, but. Uh, there's a severe, severe need for blood right now. It's uh, always difficult during the holiday times for blood, but with COVID, it's even gotten worse. So anyone that uh, is watching or listening uh, on Cassie's Facebook um, feed, the blood drive tomorrow is from 1 until 7 at uh, the St. Mary and St. Andrew's Church uh, in Ellenville. It's co-sponsored by uh, the Ellenville Regional Hospital, with a lot of help from uh, TJ's wife, uh, Debbie, 
and uh, hoping for a lot of folks to turn out to the blood drive so we can uh, you know help our our local residents and as well as other people in the new york area they're down to from what i was told a half a day blood supply right now so it's it's super super critical in addition to you know operations being and procedures being postponed because of covid they're actually having now to make decisions on operations because of the, the severe shortage of the blood supply. So hopefully a lot of people can roll up their sleeves tomorrow and, and help out and give a pint. And that's what I've got. Okay, so this is where Cassie and I start to talk about Mark Blauer, who's our grand writer for 20 years. He's probably brought, we talked to him today, he probably brought at least $20 million to the town of Orsing and infrastructure projects with Napanak and Kerhouse and, and the news came yesterday that we were awarded $961,000, and Cassie will discuss it here if you need that. No, I brought my own. Okay. Um, the Kerhonkson Sewer Plant Sludge Dewatering System uh, received the grant for $961,461,400. There we go. All right, the town of Warsing operates and maintains the Kerhonkson Sewer District Wastewater Treatment Facility. The reed sludge drying beds are, are failing and they're considered a DEC uh, invasive species, so they have to be removed. The report revealed the sludge handling at the facility was unsatisfactory because the reed beds are failing. And the town will be using the money, a New York State CDBG funding, to replace the failing reed beds with a sludge drying bed system and a mechanical sludge press. Um, we're very excited about this. Um, so in the not too dis uh, we've already started the process of trying to figure out the best way to get rid of the reed beds because the, uh, they sort of look like uh, uh, wheat things at the end. And when you move them, the, the seeds fly off and then you're growing reeds where you didn't intend for them to grow. So we have to, the, the DC is asking us to figure out a way to contain them as we remove them with no real explanation how we're gonna do that. But we've got a, a company or two online that are trying to help us come up with a solution to get rid of the reed beds. This money will give us a new way to get rid of the, the sewer sludge. And I couldn't be more happy that this is happening. Um, and so I'll keep you all posted as we go forward on that. Um, and on a different note, we had a problem at the main pump station in Kerhonkson uh, yesterday, and I have to, to give a shout out to TAM Construction. They let us one of their guys that was familiar with what we were dealing with, and and they just let him leave the job and come over and check out what we had, and he gave them some really sound advice that was probably gonna save us a lot of money. And I just think that that was wonderful. They didn't have to do that, but they really helped, they pitched in and helped us out in a really critical time. And then the other thing I have is it is time to announce the winners of the decorating contest. Which decorating contest? The Christmas light up the town of Warsing. It's the only one we have. The holiday one. All right. So I think we did that one already. Yeah, the Halloween one. The Halloween one? No. Okay. So third place went to 11 Lincoln Street in Ellenville. Second place went to 104 Williams Street in Kerhonkson. And first place went to 16 Maple Ave in Ellenville. Congratulations to all the winners. Yes. You can call Sam here at Town Hall to arrange to get your prizes. Um, I'm so pleased when our- And I will get you that prize tomorrow. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> and I'm so pleased that the town really embraced this. Um, we had people enter from Kohansen and the only place we didn't get is Cragsmore, but I plan to see if we can get them involved next year because I think it, it really brings the town together. People go all over and look at these lights and they really enjoy it. And with the higher COVID numbers, sometimes you want to go through something festive without actually interacting with anybody. So the, our townspeople really stepped up. They decorated nicely. And I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that the contest came off as well as it did. And my final thing Before is... Before you say that, the pie chart that the town made yes which i don't have because she didn't give it to me well we have it downstairs okay so um i think paul might put it on, on our facebook page or our website the, the pie chart indicate this is a process of how the competition took place mm -hmm. and people called in or or they uh, voted online they voted online and we had 313 votes total that much i do remember and <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that's actually a pretty good vote for an online 
pull for these things. And we had 15 homes that entered the contest. And uh, so, the, and I, I'll have Paul post the, the pie chart of, of how it broke down, if anybody's interested in seeing that. I, I just think I just brought it up because it's really- Because you're a numbers guy? Well, it's a good thing to get, that's getting people involved. Yeah. I mean, people that are voting, they, maybe they didn't do that for their house, <laughs> but they're appreciating it and mm -hmm. it's reaching more people. Um, and the final thing is I got an email. We got an email here at Town Hall. The girl, uh, Ashley Walraven, she works with the Girl Scouts Hearts of the Hudson, and they're asking the board if they can, with proper notice, use our public space to have a Girl Scouts meeting. And I'm just going to give this to the board now, and we'll decide it on Tuesday, but they they would like to add us as a list of a possible place to have a, a, a Girl Scouts meeting, okay? And I, oh, and that's all I have today. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, Tony mentioned, I just wanna thank Tony and everybody else involved with the Salt Shed during the process of, uh, since it failed earlier this year. It came out pretty nice. Yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow it should be absolutely ready to go. We'll know tomorrow night. We'll know, we'll know tomorrow night. I'd also like to thank whoever's controlling the weather uh, yeah. in the last couple of weeks. Uh, this is ex unusual, you know, mid 40s and 50s at this particular time was a blessing uh, as far as getting that yes. done. It could have been a lot worse, and we appreciate that. Um, Joshua Peters, Light Parade, as TJ mentioned, uh, was I thought it was great. I mean, what a wonderful event. I mean, there were, had to be. I mean, I don't want to, you know, it's not a competition with the 4th of July, but it was just so many people there. And uh, <coughs> the weather, cool. again, was nice on that night, too. Yeah, it was cool. Um, <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Who said it was cold? Mr. Michelle said it was cold. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was cold, too. I stayed in my car, Two so words. I was good. And just a very short <laughs> comment on Mark Flower. He's done incredible work over the years. He's very particular, uh, but he's a particular for a reason. He gets results, and that's a lot of money. You can't argue it's with that. Years. So I years, think Cassie didn't even I, Mark had when he talked to us uh, yesterday. He mentioned that we're pretty much done, but I, we're not, right? We're I not. I, he said, I don't think there's anything else we need to do, water and sewer wise, for these grants. And I said, <coughs> so I said that to Jimmy Montagne, <coughs> our, our superintendent, of, uh, supervisors for the water department, sewer department, because oh, I've got a project. We would like to hopefully redesign the uh, Carlo Dry pump station because if we can redesign it just a little bit, which I know is always expensive, we can put in a new catch for the rags and stuff that gets stuck in there that's wow. been designed. So I'm hoping that after the new year I can talk to Mark and we can track the process again and maybe we can redesign that pump house because it's, it's designed poorly. So that would be my next project. You know, Santa Claus is delivering money, so. <laughs> Uh, just a short comment about the budget. We had a 0% increase in the tax uh, levy this year. And again, I'd like to thank the present board for that. And the future board, uh, I hope we have that goal in mind. We also have a lot of things going on with uh, possible projects in the town and some of which create revenue for the town. So we're still gonna try to have a very, you know, lowest budget that we can, but also try to provide the, the most services to the to the residents. Um, the county, if you've watched uh, the county executive, Pat Ryan, and deputy executive, Mark Ryder, and just the county in general released, uh, you know, a news report that they were distributing rapid tests for the COVID. So each container is this quick view there's two test kits, two test kits in each box. I believe we got 350, so that was 700 tests that we could have, but each box contains two to a box. So Paul is going to be putting something on uh, our Facebook page. On there already. Okay, so what does it say? Basically, it says uh, uh, starting on Monday, you can come to Town Hall, go visit Jackie and the folks in the clerk's office and um, sign the sign up sheet and get uh, one box per family uh, is, is the intent on this. So generically one box per resident, but I think we've got a little bit of flexibility if you've got, you know, multiple people living in the residence. So 
Um, starting Monday, uh, we'll be starting to distribute those kits, and it's a first come, first serve basis. And and what else? And what else? Don't come to the town hall again. Oh yes, systematic. please. Oh, if you're <laughs> if you're systematic in any way, please don't come to town hall to get the test kit. Please call your your doctor's office. Please, we don't want people that are, that are feeling sick to come to town hall to get their test kits. So the initiative from the county, the, there's was it was really for the holiday season because as uh, a lot of folks have in government throughout the country or whatever. Uh, they're stating that during the holiday season, you get together with your families and there's more of an inclination to get closer or whatever and possibly have a higher, you know, concentration of uh, positive tests and some people that, uh, that's basically the reason. And so it's really not for people that are symptomatic when they're picking them up again. It's just to make, you know, give you a, an idea of if you are sick, you have them at your house, you can, it's an easy kit to, you know, take the swab test and uh, it could save your life or it could keep you from getting sick or so it's a very good uh, initiative by the county. So at that time, I, uh, I don't think we have anything more to talk about tonight. I'd like to make a motion to close. I'll second it. He makes the motion and Paul seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night.